Okay, so let me introduce our uh, last speaker today, uh, CEO of Flipbar, Faisal Galeria, and he will uh, introduce enabling everyone to create content for the metaverse. Go ahead. Thank you. Good evening, every, everyone. I, I say everyone slightly tongue-in-cheek, given the uh, intimate size of the audience uh, we have here. Uh, I'm really excited uh, to be back in the United States. It's been, it's been two, two, two years since uh, I, I was last in, in the United States, and actually I wasn't even sure uh, last week that, uh, uh, that, that I'd be able to make it, uh, make it here, uh, given the, 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 tr the travel restrictions. And uh, as, you, as many of you, have, will, you know, will, will identify with, it's been a, a long time since um, most of us were at big gatherings like this, and I haven't given a presentation in, uh, to, uh, to su such a large audience in, in, uh, in, in, in the last two, two years. Um, as Yussi said, my name is Faisal Galeria. I'm the CEO of, of Blipper, and what I'm going to talk to you about uh, for the next 15 or, or, or 20 minutes is uh, our, our AR uh, content creation tool for everyone called, uh, called, Blip, 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 called Blip Builder. Okay, it's not. So we've been, uh, uh, Blip has been pioneering uh, augmented reality for, for, the, for, the, for the last last 10 years. Um, and I've, I've been around in, in the company for, uh, for the last two, two and a half years as, as CEO. Uh, and one of the things that I've, I've uh, experienced in my career, uh, which spans uh, being at the formative stage of some of the, the largest um, and most well-known in, uh, consumer internet companies, including Skype, Kayak and, and, and Spotify is that they're, they're, all of these companies are built on predictable patterns. So you can see whether it was whether it was Skype, um, which was enabled by the by the ecosystem, and the ecosystem, you know, included things like peer peer to peer, fixed uh, fixed line uh, line broadband, the emergence of uh, audio and, and video codecs like H264. There were these these ecosystem factors which were around upon which Skype was able to effectively stand on the shoulders and, and break out. Ten years later at, at Spotify, I saw these similar break, break uh, similar ecosystem factors uh, in, in play because uh, when, when we were launching um, Spotify in uh, 2008, 2009, you saw the emergence of, of three, 3G of, uh, of the I of iPhone, the virality that was created by uh, by uh, by Facebook, there was music, music compression, and so all of these factors together enabled the emergence of a, of a break of a breakout co company like like Sp like Spotify. You know, despite the fact that we had great that we had on our own, we had great technology and and and, and great uh, agreements with music licenses. The fact is that without those enabling ecosystem factors, Spotify wouldn't have broken out in, in, in the same way. And so two and a half years ago, when I was looking at, at, at Blipper, which some of you will, will know has a storied, storied history, which we'll, which we'll come to, there were a couple of things that, that I found really interesting about, uh, about the company. And, and I take for granted the fact that it had, had great technology and, 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 a great, and a great team. But at the same time, uh, what some what some people call uh, timing, I call predictable patterns. I could see that actually the the emergence of these 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 ecosystem factors coming together. So you, people were start, starting to talk about AR glasses. You could start to see think th you could start to see uh, 5G, which is the bearer technology, which seems to be a a common factor through all of these breakout companies. Uh, you could start to see the AR stack being uh, present in hundreds. You know, Millions of millions of uh, of phones now had the AR stack, whether that's AR Core or AR Kit, uh, actually I I in the phone and present and able to be to be to be used. And of course, the the, the prevalence of, of of QR codes meant that all of a sudden the ecosystem up upon which a breakthrough uh, breakthrough AR company and content creation platform seemed to me two and a half years to be just a matter of, of time. 
Um, that's one of the reasons why I, 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 I joined Blipper and thought that actually it's going to be a really exciting few years and you could see this pattern emerging. So as I said, um, Blipper has been, been around for, uh, for over, ten, over, ten, over 10 years. It actually pioneered, um, was one of the pioneers of aug augmented reality. And actually my, my, my colleague um, and the former CEO of, of, of Blipper, Ambrish Mitra was here um, to, you know, on the, at the very first AWE and stood with Ori and, and gave the present, gave the, one of the very first keynotes at, uh, at AWE. So it's really great for us to be, to be back, but we've been around since, uh, since, since about uh, 2011. Um, we had uh, a lot of success uh, as one of the pioneers. We, we raised uh, uh, over $130 million. million. We um, worked with many of the biggest brands and, and technology companies uh, in the world. Um, but like so many early companies, and it doesn't matter whether we're talking about in the field of augmented reality or any, any technology when you're, when you're early, Blipper ran out of money uh, for, for a number of reasons in the summer of 2018 and went into administration. Uh, luckily, for, luckily for us, uh, we were able to buy out the assets, the IP, the, the IP and the technology and the brand um, out, of, out of administration. We restarted Blipper in, 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 tw in 20, 2019 with a new executive team, a, a new board and a new focus essentially on building, building a content creation platform for, for, for AR that was accessible by anyone and usable by anyone, starting with, with brands, agencies, and systems integrators. And Blip Builder that is, is a tool that we designed to, to make AR content creation possible by everyone, everyone from your bedroom developer through to a, a, te a 10 year old child. The idea is that anyone can, can build, uh, can, can build a, a, a AR content. And all of those are surrounded by our, our studio, Studio B, which is really uh, a creative and strategic capability that, that demonstrates what, they, what the complete capability of the, pl the platforms are. And we use, we use Studio B to, to do work for, for uh, clients. We'll show you some of those client, clients later. Uh, but really, it provides a showcase for what the technologies are, are capable of. And we've been, you know, just like the previous version of, of, of Blipper, uh, what, what, what unites old Blipper, Blipper 1.0, with, 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 new, with new Blipper, is our fo focus on, on, on innovation and, and continuing to push, push the envelope of, of technology. Um, we, you know, just like the Blipper 1.0, uh, we continue to be uh, responsible for many of the world's first in, in, in AR. And in this case, um, l last year we were asked by, by OnePlus, which is one of the world's largest f phone manufacturers, to find a solution for how they could launch their new, their new phone, the, the Nord, uh, the, the OnePlus Nord, in it when, when normally they would invite 500 journalists to Shanghai and do a, do a C CEO presentation on a, sta on a stage like this. We're not having much luck today, are we? Yeah, there we go. Uh, do, do a presentation like, do, do, like this. Uh, but clearly, uh, th this time last year, because of lockdown, they couldn't fly the 500 journalists in, into Shanghai. So they said to us, is there a way that rather than bringing the, the journalists to our stage, could we take our stage to the journalists in AR? Um, and we said, yeah, what did you have in, what did you have in mind? And they said, look, you know, we normally do a half an hour extravaganza with the CEO on the stage, with, with screens coming out of the ceiling, with various presenters coming up. We'll show the, we'll show the phone, we'll show you, the, we'll, we'll show you the, the, the sides of the phone, we'll break the phone down. And they said, and we said, how long would that take? How long are you thinking about it? And they said, half an hour? And we said, I'm not sure. We're not sure if if actually people could run a, a half an hour AR presentation, but that's the challenge uh, that, that, they, that they gave us. So we said, okay, 500 journalists, half an hour presentation in AR, all of those 500 
journalists would get an individual bespoke presentation because, of course, the AR could happen on their desk, on the kitchen table, outside in their garden. Every, every, every stream would be entirely different, so it's quite different to a, to a conventional TV broadcast. This was an individual broadcast to the, to the 500 journalists. And then they said to us, actually, our fans have heard about this. Uh, and we'd like to take, go from 500 journalists to, to 5,000 fans, so journalists and fans. Is, is that going to be a problem? Um, and we spoke to people like, like Steve, who sat at the back, and um, said, no, we can probably man manage that. And then we started to see, actually, the invites to the, to, the, to the launch experience starting to be traded on Amazon and on, on eBay. And OnePlus said, look, we... We don't want people buying their, their way in. You know, we want actually as many people as possible to, to see this. Can we just open it up? And so on the day, 627,000 people were there for the live experience and we presented uh, the, this bespoke one-to-one -one experience um, to 627,000 people. Altogether, about 7 million people have, have actually seen the experience. experience now. I'll show you. A, a, a little bit of it, um, but the most exciting part for us was that actually, um, you know, despite all the technology, and you can see you know, how much data we were able to, to stream, the, real, the really interesting thing for us was that uh, OnePlus sold out of phones on every Amazon site which, where, they, where, where they were selling these OnePlus plus, plus, plus phones. Um, and OnePlus have become one of our biggest clients and keep coming back for every, every phone launch. So I'll show you some of the, the launch experience. I'm not sure if we have the audio. But you can see here that you know, we were able to bring, bring the CEO on, onto a stage. You can see this is uh, one of my colleagues his house, um, and we did the whole the whole extra, extravaganza, uh, including the, uh, the the CEO presenting on, on a stage. We broke the, broke the phone up, able to show the phone in its full glory, and we've lost the presentation again. Let me move on. There we go. Okay. Um, at, at Blipper, we essentially we have, we, 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 we have a, a number of solutions that we that that we offer our, our clients, starting with uh, with with our our web AR SDK, which we launched uh, in October of, of this year. Blip Builder uh, that I was that, that I was mentioning to you, and, and Studio B, and I'm going to show you. Uh, a little bit more about Studio B. Uh, Studio B, as I, as I mentioned, is our, uh, our in-house creative and, and, st and a strategic uh, uh, team. That we're used and we offer these, these services to some of the, the world's most innovative and, uh, and, and, and biggest brands across both technology, CPG and, and automotive. We, we, we have a, a team of, of Creatives and, de and, and developers, some of some of whom have joined us from companies, um, you know, Hollywood, Hollywood type companies like like DreamWorks, and we produce very very high end ci cinema quality uh, AR experiences, with the idea that actually this is the best marketing that we can do, and shows the capability of our, of our platforms. One of my, um, it's a shame we we don't have audio, but I wanted to show you one of my. Uh, favorite examples of the work that we've done done, done recently and we, uh, we which is uh, working with Nicole Kidman and, and, and Hulu uh, to create a companion experience to, to nine perfect strangers we seem to be having some uh, some technical difficulties here with with the Wi-Fi but if you uh, if you if you check out nine, nine perfect strangers and and the Hulu website, there's a QR code there. You can take take your phone, scan the QR code, 
enter Tranquillium House with 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 Nicole with Nicole Kidman and have a whole AR experience where you get to participate and look look around uh, Tranquillium House with the stars of of. Uh, of the show and have an experience that's a companion experience to, to watching the TV show. Let me get the seat on mid here. And alongside the, uh, so, uh, alongside the studio, as I mentioned, uh, in October we, we launched our uh, Web AR SDK. Um, which for the first time in, in, incorporate, incorporates SLAM technology, uh, simultaneous localization and, and mapping te technology. It incorporates our build once and pu publish everywhere uh, c capability um, and is used by, by developers and, and creatives with experience of, of, script, of scripting to, to build these kinds of AR experiences that you can, that you can, you can see on the right here. It's one of the most adv advanced uh, AR, uh, AR SDK K toolkits on, on, on the market and has a very robust uh, SLAM capability. But one of the things that, 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 that uh, I've been focused on since I joined the company as, as CEO a couple of years ago is not only how do we make our, our, our technology richer, faster, uh, more, com more, comp more, more compelling, uh, to, uh, allowing, uh, to allow more compelling c content and become more uh, c compute efficient, but is to find ways so that this technology that to date has, has been used largely by expert developers and, and creators and find ways to make it super, super simple, more accessible so that everybody can, can use uh, AR and create content, content for, the, for the metaverse. And so uh, today um, we, we've announced that we are going to be launching uh, SLAM in our no-code code platform, um, which is for the first time making making uh, AR content creation as easy as drag and drag and drop, and it uses the, the it, it incorporates SLAM, which means that for the first time, even a, an eight eight year old kid at school or a teacher can actually drag and drop content build a sophisticated uh, AR experiences, and in the background, we take care of the physics and, al and allow things to work and become as realistic as they possibly ca ca can be, um, allowing, the, allowing the, 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 the user to focus on, on creativity and building, building their AR, AR experience. And here's an example on, on, on the right of the, of the, of the platform actually uh, be, being used. You can see uh, on, the, on, the, on the far right hand side, you can see the, um, all of the, uh, the simple, the, the simple um, icons and, and items that can be dra dragged in, into a scene. We've created this, this scene by, by, ex by importing uh, co content from, from Blender and, uh, and other places. You can drag. The, the, the content in, 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 into scene, and then you can publish by uh, by scanning the, the, the QR code. But it literally is as simple as dra dragging and dropping that, 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 that content. And if the gods of Wi-Fi allow, I might show you that actually working here, uh, here, here on the uh, uh, on, on the on the actual platform. So you, this is the platform that we that we just saw in the presentation. These are the uh, the, the these are the in, inbuilt sh shapes and, and, and content. You can see here uh, the content that, that we've that we've imported in, 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 into into Blip Builder, including some some of the uh, the content that we saw fly, flying around. You can see the animation uh, layers here. So I'm going to start to, to play that for you, so you can see how this builds and literally what we've done is we've dragged and dropped the, 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 con the content in. I can get closer here so you can start to see it a little bit better. We can st start to flip it around 
see it from, from different angles. So we can get closer. See behind the screen, so this is completely 3D. Let's get a little bit closer. So this is very, very usable. Um, and then what I would do is click on the background. I'm now going to publish the QR code. And this is where it gets, we'll see if this, this works and if the Wi-Fi, wifi uh, works, yeah, but I'm works going, to going to scan the QR code with my phone. I don't know if we can flip to, 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 the, to the phone here. Are we able to flip to the phone? Okay, there it is at the bottom. I'm gonna press okay. There we go. It's published. So you're able, you're to, able go to go directly from from the from 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 the client that we've built, built in and publish and, publish. Um, and this um, is how, this how we how think we that, think that uh, uh, you know, yeah, it's going to be really, going to be really easy, easy for everyone, 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 everyone from an eight-year-old eight kid in their in their bedroom, their bedroom teachers, teachers, brand brand, brand managers, managers everyone, everyone can build can content build content, con con content for the for the, for the internet, internet without, without having, having to have, to have HTML, HTML or, or, or JavaScript, JavaScript, JavaScript uh, development, uh, development capabilities. capabilities. That's the that's the announcement. We're uh, excited to. To share this with you, and uh, as I said, we're uh, super excited to be back at back a a a AWE, um, and uh, look forward to to uh, having a drink with everyone. I know everyone uh, is here missing uh, missing drinks, so I look forward to having drinks with everyone soon. Thank you. And if anyone's got any questions, I'll take them as well. Okay, thank you, Faisal. So we are out of time. So if you wanna make some questions, so please uh, read him directly after the session. Okay, so we are all done for today. Thank you, everybody.